I have just read something quite interesting in the news, and I know that the masses of people that read the news every day are going to kind of overlook this little story, but it's a little gem of gold because it kind of backs up what I've been saying for a long time to a lot of other people. This is the story about a man who has been sentenced at the Old Bailey to 33 months in prison because he was translating extremist videos and uploading his version to YouTube for anyone to be able to see. Now, of course, as I have said in other videos on here recently, YouTube is an amazing thing. It literally can change lives. And of course, a lot of people will just hear and go, oh, well, that's, that's, that's connected with terrorism. That is a very bad thing. Do you actually know what a terrorist says? A lot of the time over here in the West, we are told about this thing called terrorism, or uh, what else would we call it? Oh yeah, a retaliation. You see, the thing is, a couple of years ago, America and the UK kind of got together and we had this little thing, we were like, oh, some weapons. So we went and invaded a load of other countries that we actually had no reason to go into, and we literally tore them apart for no real reason. You know, there is, uh, oh God, I can't tell you how many innocent people have lost their lives through British forces and American forces. Uh, they near enough quadruple the amount of people that have been injured in terror attacks in the West. And they still outdo the amount of soldiers that we have lost in countries like that. And even in our own countries, let's not forget, we have had terrorist attacks over here in the United Kingdom. The thing is though, <laughs> When you watch and have translated a terrorist uh, warning video and that sort of thing, it is actually quite interesting because the reasoning that they give behind their terrorist actions, okay, they will vary, but overall have the thing of saying, Do you know what, you've come to my part of the world, I'm going to fuck you over. You had no business going in there, girl, get your shit together and get out. And in that camp fashion as well, that's exactly how it goes, you know, yeah. And that is it. You know, a lot of these videos do say, we're doing this because this is what you've done to us. So you either get yourselves out or we're coming for you. And that seems to be the message. Now, I wonder so much as to why our police forces have been working together to try and get this man uh, sort of taken off our streets. I really have to wonder as to why they've done that because he isn't involved in terrorism. This man has actually not committed a terrorist act. The only thing that he has done is to research what he's talking about on his YouTube videos, which is something that we all need to do, and it's something that I occasionally do on this channel, but not very often. But that's that's the point. He's researching his point of view to, to, to know what he's talking about. And if he's been arrested for translating the media, like these terrorist videos that get done, who the fuck cares? Because he's not the one who's actually gone and committed offences. He's not the one sat there saying, well, this is what he has said. You should say that too. He's translated it. So what the fuck is the problem here? Or is it that we are actually frightened that people might start to see his point of view? There was a time not that long ago when uh, Russell Brand found himself up in the media a lot and people really talk harsh to him at times with some of their comments in saying that you know he was disrespectful for saying that we shouldn't uh, have our minutes observation for the people in Tunisia and that sort of thing which he didn't actually say but whatever I'm not going to dwell too much on that story a lot of people seem to think though that he is sort of going a little bit crazy in some of the things that he says and the truth of the matter is he isn't he's actually spot on with some of the things that he says if you want to attack this problem at its source this is the source stop bombing those foreign countries stop selling arms to countries on your own human rights abuse list if you want to change this situation you've got to stop perpetuating the problem there's no point in having a minute silence on friday it's a minute of bullshit as long as during that time they continue to sell arms they continue to bomb foreign countries they have no interest in a solution their only interest is perpetuating the problem and continuing to profit from it if you respect those people then demand that your government stop selling arms to countries on its own human rights abusers list. Demand that your government stops carrying out foreign wars on behalf of corporations. That's some true news and it will have a lot more impact than one minute silence. Never be silent. Okay, a lot of people will not like Russell Brand for whatever reason and that is fine. But listen to what he is saying there. He's saying that the people who are telling us have this minute silence out of respect are actually the people who have kind of created that incident and that's not a good thing. And yet, they 
our governments in the West are not classed as terrorists. How? <laughs> you know? If 9-11 is as we were told, that these planes went flying into the building, then, yeah, okay, other outsiders have invaded that country and committed a terrorist attack by killing thousands of people. What the fuck did we do after 9-11? We went into other countries, we tore them a new arsehole, we killed fucking thousands upon millions of innocent people that wished us no harm. Are we any better than the terrorists? I mean, we say that we're better than the terrorists because we don't negotiate with terrorists, but... <laughs> What the fuck is going on? Look, I'm not going to say that the police are completely wrong in their actions because I actually do have a bit of beef with the Greater Manchester Police because they've also attacked the homeless, which I completely disagree with. And then they're arresting this man for translating something which is available online. So I don't get where they're coming from with their ideas. He's not encouraging people to go and do shit. He's translating it. If that is the problem, who gives a shit? The world has gone fucking mad, I swear to God. Right, come on, Trey. Let's get gone. Fucking hell, I'll get done for terrorism charges at this rate.